The value of the VEC project, it's a place to start to come to where it's a go-to place. We can drive and share all the information. We can put lessons learned. But equally with the money we have, we can invest in academic research and we can start to, as a community, not as an individual organisation, but as a community, we can start to move environmental sustainability forward. And actually doing it as a community, as a, a whole entity rather than individuals, there's way more impact that we can make. So the REC is the start of that and it's got so much to offer agencies around how we can support them in taking their environmental impact forward. Well, I think um, one element that could use some work within the humanitarian logistics and supply chain management context is collaboration both inter-organizational collaboration as well as then collaboration with private sector partners and local partners in uh, the disaster context and the context where the aid is being delivered. So I think that's where REC does a really great job in bringing these actors together. At the ICRC, we've always uh, believed that sustainability um, actually makes our programs and interventions in the field much more relevant and much more qualitative for the, the, the people that we, that we serve. Um, we've been working on sustainability for a decade. I mean, we adopted our first framework on sustainability back in 2011. Um, and today we've actually set ourselves two very specific goals. Um, first, we want to make sure that we integrate climate risk into all our programs by 2025. And second, we do want to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2030 compared to 2018 levels. And as I said, these are really key for us um, to build more relevant programs for the future.